I've made a new film called It For Others, which is a response to a film by Chris Marker and Alan Resnes called Statues Also Die, which is also being shown. So that's shown in the first room. When you come into the, um, to the two spaces that I have in the film that I've made is in the second room. Statues Also Die is a film about African art. Um, it connects the death of the statues and objects in the film to the commercialization of African art. So I've expanded that out um, socially and historically. Uh, it, the film that I've made is kind of a segmented film. So the, the first part um, is on the subject of African art. There's a performance that I filmed with Michael Clark, which forms a second part, which is more abstract. It's to do with ideas of uh, ideas about commodities, ideas about the exchange of commodities. Uh, there's also a section which films commodities. And then there's some more archival material at the end. I draw your attention to the second and fourth Nigerian constitutions. Without the intellectual ferment of 18th century Europe, Without the ideas of men like Locke, Montesquieu, Voltaire, and even Kant, Nigeria would have had a different constitution, perhaps even no constitution at all. The narrator's part um, is read by Kate Hardy. The tone of it comes from the, uh, Marker and Resnay's film, which is an essay film, um, which the aesthetic of the film is that it... it um, it has this has the narrator's voice, which is intercut with uh, an original score, which was produced for the film. Um, I think when it came to the film that I made, one of the things that I was aware of was um, the, with it being quite segmented, it's a it's got a feeling of of um, or at least the intention was that it has a feeling of being different chapters, but the, the narrator's part also serves as a, a, the function of trying to make that cohere a bit, so that's the continuity between the different elements. OK, it strains the appearance of naturalism, but I don't agree the use of appropriation, irony or cropping gets us any closer to a consideration of the original use or exchange values. I tend to work with one space in mind, so it is a little bit of a challenge actually having the, the palazzo architecture and interconnected rooms. But I, I mean, I think that's, uh, at least I hope it's a virtue in the end because that's really the base, the decision of having the, um, the original film, Chris Marker and Alan Resnay's film um, as part of the show. So it's a kind of a call and response between the two films. So yeah, in that sense it did, did have a, Definite impact.